I'm back with some more unboxing for you guys, but this time we're going to be unboxing this bad boy right here, the Asus TUF Gaming Monitor. So this is a 4K monitor that is going to be great for just about, you know, any kind of gaming console. I'm talking the Xbox and the PlayStation. So there's a lot of options out there for 4K monitors, 4K TVs, confusing options out there, but this one right here does not have HDMI 2.1. Also, this is a budget option. I already did a video on a 4K TV that was, I don't know, about $1,300. You know, it's kind of quite, it was quite expensive. And some people might prefer to play or to game on a monitor. So I decided it was time to do a 4K monitor unbox and, you know, a test slash review with the PlayStation 5. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is a 28 inch 4K. So this is designed to be a gaming monitor for PC, but it also works great for the PS5. Probably one of the best ones you'll find out there right now. And Amazon Canada has like a 50 to $70 discount off of this right now. So I don't know if that's still the same. Go ahead and check down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this monitor. So I'm going to, you know, unbox this and we're gonna see what it looks like. So I'm not saying go ahead and buy it right away. You should watch this video right here if you want to, you know, use a monitor with your PS5 instead of say a TV or anything else. So the thing with this is it does not have HDMI 2.1 like I said earlier. I'm going to be doing another comparison or another test between the way this would look with HDMI 2.1 versus my TV with HDMI 2.1. That way you guys can make more of an informed decision if you're on the fence deciding, you know, whether, whether to go for a two point HDMI 2.0 TV or monitor or an HDMI 2.1 TV. Cause I couldn't find an HDMI 2.1 monitor. It might be out there, but I'll tell you right now, it's probably gonna be overpriced. Just ridiculous pricing. Cause it's not a common tech. HDMI 2.1 is just becoming more and more prevalent. I will do a video comparing, you know, HDMI 2.0 cable to HDMI 2.1 cable. So this is going to be a different one from the TV and the monitor comparison. This is going to be just the cables and the PS5. So you guys can kind of understand the differences between both of those cables and you know, which one's better for you and which one you would like. For the features, of this monitor right here. This thing has HDR10, so high dynamic range for color and brightness levels. So you're gonna have more color and brightness levels compared to you know the conventional monitor without HDR. If you don't know anything about HDR or HDR10, that's basically what it is. It's you know higher colors and or more color levels and more brightness levels. Also, it has shadow boost technology. Shadow boost technology basically boosts dark areas, dark scenes within any game you're playing without compromising or overexposing already bright areas. So it also has that technology in it as well as AMD Free Sync. So AMD Free Sync you might not use or you might not utilize because it works best with PC games because the, the PS5 doesn't have a display port. You can't really use it. And honestly, I don't see why you would want to use display port. The PlayStation 5 console or just any console for that matter, they're usually designed more for TVs than, you know, say a monitor. If you're playing with the PlayStation 5, you can only use the HDMI port. So keep that in mind. Uh, if that's a big thing for you, make sure you know what you're, you're getting yourself into. Let's unbox this right now and test it out with the PlayStation 5, because that's what we're all here for, and that's the fun part. I'm gonna cut this open right now, a little trusty old knife. All right, let's take this out the box. I'm not really sure what this is right now, but I'm thinking it's gonna be something, you know, maybe like a stand or something that attaches to the monitor. But I guess we'll soon, we'll soon find out when we go in there. Next up here, I've got obviously an adapter cable. I've got other Asus adapter cables. So this is like the second part of it. The part that goes into the AC outlet would be attached to this point. Okay, so we've got uh, one more, two more cables. So this one's just um, the other end of the adapter cable. It's just the other end of the cable. I think we've got a HDMI 2.0 cable, not 2.1, 2.0, because this does not support, this uh, monitor, monitor does not support HDMI 2.1. See what else we can grab before the monitor. I think there's a manual. You know what we say about manuals, guys. We don't really, we don't really do much with these things unless we really have to, which we can just go on the internet to figure out. There's one more thing in the box that I gotta take out. So right here, it looks like the base for the monitor. It definitely is the base. Put this to the side. Looks pretty clean to me. I love the look of this. To be honest, I actually love Asus monitors. I trust them for gaming. They're good at it. They've made monitors, you know, for gaming for a long period of time. It's not like they just started doing this. So we're gonna see what this looks like right now. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see what this looks like, man. I'm actually kind of excited to see what this would look like with the PlayStation 5 attached to it. That's the most important thing to me. So I'm just gonna take off the wrap. 
I like it so far. Okay, so as you can see right here, this thing feels solid. So I don't know what you would consider solid, but to me, this feels solid. Very well built. It has a 28 inch screen. That's a lot. If you're a gamer and you don't want something that's like a 65 inch TV or 58, like something large. Some people don't like that. Some people, some people prefer something smaller, you know, a more compact gaming setup. So this is going to be a great addition to your setup if you if you own a, you know, a PS5 or even just a PC and you want to game with this or even the Xbox, all kinds of stuff you can play with this one. The thing is, I'm gonna show you guys all the different connections that we have with this one and then we'll go ahead and plug it in. Right here we've got the adapter or the power adapter port. So this is where you would have obviously plug in power and give the monitor power. And we've got two HDMI 2.0 ports. They can accept 2.0 and 2.1 cables because the HDMI 2.1 cable is backward compatible, but it wouldn't give you all the benefits of having an HDMI 2.1 connected to it because it can't receive that signal and process that much bandwidth. This is a display port 1.2, which you can use, you know, in in tandem with, let's say you play PC games, then you'll love the display port because you can use it directly with that. So I'm gonna test out Spider-Man at 30 and 60 frames per second to see how it looks when I have uh, an HDMI 2.1 cable connected to the HDMI 2.0 port on this uh, monitor and the HDMI 2.1 port on the PS5. One thing about the stand that you'll notice is that right behind it, so right there there's a D screw which makes it toolless to set up. So you don't need a screwdriver, you just basically screw it in using the D uh, screw right there. So I'm gonna do that right quickly. Clicks on, super easy. All you have to do now is just screw it on. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly get this out the way and then set this up with the PS5. I've got the whole setup kind of going right now. Not all done, I just kind of placed the monitor, monitor down. So I'm gonna show you guys how to you know, plug this up or set this up with your PS5. I mentioned during the unboxing that this cable, which is basically the only cable on in there for you know display. I thought this was an HDMI cable. I didn't look at it properly, but it's not an HDMI cable. It's a display port cable. I honestly think these things, these uh, gaming monitor, monitors are designed more for PC gamers than console gamers. You know, being able to play with the PC and your PS5 using this is still pretty good. So some people might have a PC and a PS5 or a PC and the Xbox or all three and want to, you know, be able to play different games, you know, using each one of them. So you can use this monitor across all your different platforms. In my hand right here, I've got an HDMI 2.1 cable. I got this off Amazon. So if you want to buy uh, an HDMI cable like this, go down in the description. There would be a link through which you can purchase it through. It's not expensive. Let me let me be honest with you and this thing is long like look 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 at this man So we're gonna use this which is a HDMI 2.1 cable alongside the PS 5s HDMI 2.1 port and the HDMI 2.0 port for this monitor. Let's see how it looks Let's see if there's any difference in gameplay and we'll go from there So I'm gonna connect the the power adapter, which is super easy HDMI cable right now. I'm gonna connect between the PS 5 and the TV I'm gonna turn them on and we go from there. To the right of the monitor, there's a bunch of, you know, buttons for controlling things like brightness or volume and stuff like that. So it's nothing crazy all behind here. Hold up, let me grab my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller because I need that to control the PS5. Ooh, look at that. Everything is going smoothly so far. It looks pretty good to me. Display is, to be honest with you, really nice right now. I'm going to turn off all the lights in a bit here so you guys can see what this looks like, the true color of it, because it's better with no light at all to see what it looks like. And it does have sound as well, so you get an audio out of this. Okay, so obviously this is just standard procedure for just about any display you get, TV or not. I've now turned off all the lights to kind of focus or concentrate on the monitor in front of us. You might not be able to see anything right now, but that's okay. I'm just adjusting the high dynamic range, so the HDR. So this is all basic setup. Uh, that's how it's designed. So I'm gonna hit okay there. So that's our display, but we're gonna have to go into a game to be able to test out, you know, the difference in how they play. Okay, so as you can see right now, I've got Miles Morales and I'm about to load this up. But before that, I'm gonna go over to the settings and show you guys what the PS5 is outputting for video uh, by going to the screen and video menu right there. So let's open that up and see. As you can see right there, the resolution of the video is 3840 by 2160, which is just another way of saying 4K. And the refresh rate is 60 Hertz. So we're gonna be able to play some games with performance or at performance mode, like for example, Spider-Man Miles Morales. As you can see with the information below the resolution, the color format, it says when displaying 4K HDR content at 60, 60 Hertz, the color format will be YUV 422 or YUV 420 instead of RGB. 
due to HDMI 2.0 transfer speed limitations. That's the biggest problem with HDMI 2.0 is not being able to get as much bandwidth, you know, transfer. So uh, HDMI 2.1 transfers up to 48 gigabits per second and HDMI 2.0 transfers guess about 18 gigabits per second and that's not even effectively. We can play it at 4K 60 hertz, but we're not getting all, you know, the features that the 2.1 uh, or HDMI 2.1 will give us. So we're not gonna be getting, as you can see through the color format, like I said earlier, we're not gonna be getting RGB, we're gonna be getting YUV 422 or YUV 420. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Spider-Man right now and we're gonna go and see how it looks. Okay, all loaded up right now, I'm gonna hit X right there and I'm gonna open up one of my saved games. I'm just gonna go with New Game Plus right there and open that up. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the settings menu and switch between the two visual modes. So we've got performance and we've got fidelity. So performance RT is just performance mode but with ray tracing and ray tracing is basically the way you know the sun would work in real life being replicated in game so light and effect look better so we're gonna work with performance RT and fidelity fidelity is 30 frames per second performance is 60 frames per second so let's start with fidelity right there so I'm gonna click and apply and restart so I've played through this game at 30 frames per second and at 60 frames per second so I'm gonna be able to tell you know if there's a difference in gameplay once I try to do it right now so let's do that right now let's play and just you know kind of have some swinging action because that's usually the best way for me to tell to be honest because it looks smoother when you're playing at 60 frames but it looks a little choppy or a little just a little choppier when you're playing at 30 frames so far i can tell that the uh this is 30 frames per second because like i said you you'll feel a little choppy and if you've played at 60 frames per second you'll know when it's at 30 frames per second you'll kind of feel it you know when you play the game so you might not be able to see it but you'll know it. trust me you will know and right now i'm telling you that uh, I can feel that this is definitely at 30 frames per second. Performance RT, 60 frames per second with ray tracing. So let's do that. Honestly, I'm actually excited to see this right now. Okay, absolutely this is 60 frames per second. I can already tell, like it feels smoother. It doesn't feel as choppy as when you play with the 30 frames per second. So I can definitely tell you right now that this is 60 frames per second and I do not notice a difference. So there might be minor differences. Like I said, the thing is with HDMI 2.1 versus HDMI 2.0, as long as you're using an HDMI 2.1 cable, uh, the good thing is you get some of the features of the HDMI 2.1. With HDMI 2.1, you can go up to 8K at 120 frames per second. The thing is we don't need that much yet because we're we're still getting there we're still heading there so you can start with this good thing about this monitor is that it's not as expensive as say a TV a TV will cost you even the cheaper ones will cost you like 500 you know and, and above I think this cost about 350 American roughly but that's at retail so right now like I said there's a discount so it might even be less so sometimes it goes down below uh, $300 if you're looking to buy this make sure to go down in the description it's a great monitor and I'll tell you that right now based on you know, me playing this right now. That's basically it right there. Uh, the resolution, you know what? I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to him so you can kind of see it. So this right now is at better frame rate. I'm gonna switch to higher resolution right quick and then we're gonna see that again. Okay, so it gets a little bit sharper. Like I said, you might not notice it. I notice it and I'm telling you right now. So I hope you guys trust me <laughs> or you can go ahead and buy the monitor and test it out for yourselves. Go down in the description and check it out. So this is way cheaper than going for a TV. So it's great for PC gaming as well. So if you have a PC and you wanna play, you know, you wanna be able to just switch between both of them, you know, having your PS5 and the PC, go ahead and grab this monitor right here because it, it works well with the PS5 and there's gonna be better monitors down the line. There's gonna be HDMI 2.1 monitors. It's just inevitable, it's gonna happen. This is a good option. It's 4K, you know, you can get 60 Hertz. You might not be able to get like the best coloring, like it said, for the HDR. You're not going to be able to get all of the benefits of HDMI 2.1 but you do not need all of the benefits of HDMI 2.1 buy a TV that's got HDMI 2.1 if that's what's going to work for you I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this monitor and my uh, Sony X 900 H so that TV was designed basically for the PS5 you know it's, it's got HDMI 2.1 things run really smoothly on it make sure to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this one make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I'll catch y'all in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out, y'all.